Oh no. Oh, yay! He didn't deny it. I know the way that you think about me. But I don't want to know the truth. I hear the things that they say about me. But I don't want to know the truth. Don't you ever want to run away? Don't you ever want to walk away? Don't you ever want to leave this place? Because I need you when the day's gone. I would change. I would change for you. I would break. I break these walls too. And I would change. I would change just for you. And I would change. I would change for you. And I would break. I break these walls too. I would change. I would change just for you. I can't get you out of my mind. Right now you are sick of talking And that the fire seemed to fade And I know we're hanging on to something That so easily could break Don't you ever want to run away Don't you ever want to walk away Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another part of the foster family and um, we are going to go ahead and finish off Ali's little makeover in this part. I decided to do it on camera. You guys seem to like that. And also, um, a couple people said they can't picture Allie in pink. So I am going to change her top color. So it's not going to be pink. And then I'm going to change her blush to a more like subtle one. So we're going to do that. But first things first, I want to do a comment of the day because, um, I really like this one. And I think because of the last part, I just really want to read this. You guys will see why. So this comment comes from Annabella and she says, here is a storyline. Wow, I can't even read. Here is a storyline to why Lucas is not calling anymore. Lucas thought that his kids were ashamed of him for cheating on their mother. He just wanted to have them forget about him because he knew he was a very bad influence to his kids. Teaching them is it okay? It is wow. It is okay to cheat on someone who they loved for a long time. So he stopped talking to them so they would forget all about him and how bad of a father he was. But his kids miss him so much that. Um, all of that, they always took, they always look at <laughs> who they're getting a call from, praying it is him. Okay, so I love that idea. I think it's great. Um, I truly do feel like that's how he would feel because Lucas was a good guy. You know what I mean? He made a terrible mistake and Destiny probably will never forgive him. They probably will communicate from time to time, but he, she's never going to forgive him and she's very, very, very hurt by him. But I do think definitely he was probably ashamed of, let's go ahead and go like into the closet. He was probably ashamed of what he did and sorry about my failing reading. Like what is my problem? No idea. Sometimes I'm like reading a comment like totally fine. Other times I'm just like merp. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I feel like he was definitely ashamed and he didn't want to be that kind of influence on his daughters. Um, you know, he, he feels like his daughters are very precious and like doesn't want them to grow up cheating and things like that and thinking that that's okay because like my dad did that and it's not a big deal, you know? So he doesn't want that. I like that. Um, so, okay, I'm also going to change her lip maybe. Should we do like, eh, I kind of like that though. It really suits like her hair and her skin tone. And it's not like, it's more like a nudie pink. So I'm going to leave that. But yeah, that's going to be the storyline for that. And um, the girls would always like pray that he calls and ooh, that looks good on her. Um, and he never did. And then um, Destiny pretty much called him and invited him to the birthday party and said like, I really hope you come. The girls really miss you and they would really appreciate it if you would come to Allie's birthday party. You know, you haven't been in her childhood like at all and that hurts her a lot. So the least you could do is come to her birthday party, you know? And it was kind of like a little moment. I'm going to put that. Um, you know, he walked into the room and they had like this moment. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah. Um, ooh, I do like that. Eh, I don't know. 
I'm still gonna keep the flats. And we're still doing party. What? <laughs> what? Why do I do this? Oh my god. How, how many times am I gonna do that? Just like the last part, we were in party. I did it again. <laughs> at least I realized a little faster. Okay, at least our makeup's done for party, you know? Um, let's get rid of that. Okay, so there is her every day. Um, and then let's go ahead and, um, okay, she has like the subtle eyeshadow. Why can't it just copy over? Like, is there a way to do that? Because sometimes it does copy over and sometimes it doesn't. I wish it always would. But apparently, that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, what lips is she wearing here? Um, that one. Okay. Okay, I think it's this one. There we go. And then some eyelashes. That <laughs> was an eyeshadow. Uh, does she? Okay, she has the longer ones. All right. So... So yeah, I think that I'm going to kind of just talk while I do this. I think um, Lucas is going to start coming into their life a little bit more, but he's still really iffy about it and he's still, he feels so ashamed of what he did, but at the same time, he is not leaving Charlotte. So then it kind of just, it kind of like makes it seem like he doesn't care. What about what he did, even though he does, and he does wish that he went about it differently. But at the same time, he doesn't care enough to, uh, you know, completely regret what he did. Like, he, he still wants to keep being with Charlotte, even though she has a kid too, and it's a whole messed up situation. But, yeah, so... It, it's a whole bunch of drama. But <laughs> he, he wants to, like... He wants to see the kids periodically, um, but he's not ready to see them often, and he doesn't know if he'll ever be, and he he still kind of is, like, wanting to start a new life, and that sounds really bad. Like, he's very, like, confused of what he wants to do. That looks good. So, he's, like, he's back and forth of what he wants. You know how some guys... I don't know if you guys know, but there is guys in this world that will be with a girl and have kids with her and then, you know, cheat on her, whatever the case may be, and um, have kids with another girl or, you know, that girl already has kids and just acts like they're his only kids or this has happened too, okay? I, I'm not gonna like, okay, I've known people before that this has happened to them and it really sucks and it's not cool. Um... There's guys in, in this world that, that, like, I'm sure you guys know. Oh, by the way, like, I got clayified hairs that are originally alpha hairs, and I figured out a way, well, probably, you guys may know, but there's a way to make it so that the alpha hair will not show up in your game, but you still have the mesh, but it won't show up. I was really excited when I found out how to do that, but back on topic, there's guys in this world that will even, you know, um, be with a girl, have a kid with her, or kids, and then find another girl and she already has kids with another guy that she's not with anymore and then he will act like that's his kids and literally abandon his real kids. So I feel like in a way that's what Lucas is kind of doing because he doesn't want to remember his past life but he's like really obnoxious about it. Um, so like he's very like doesn't know what to do type thing, you know? Yeah, I need an up hair. <laughs> I want a ponytail. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to leave her in the same hair. I'm being really indecisive about what I want for her athletic hair. So we're just going to leave it. Yep. All right. Because, like, it's so long and, like, I don't know. I feel like nothing's looking right. Okay, um, for athletic, I think I'm going to give her maybe like this in the blue, and then, um, I like that actually. We're going to give her that. It looks like comfortable. It looks like something she'd do like yoga in or something. Okay, there we go. And then 
for sleepwear. Um, hmm. I feel like she'd wear a crop top like this. I feel like she's going to like this blue color, to be honest. So I feel like I'll put her in that a lot. And we'll do some black bottoms, actually. Well, I kind of like those, to be honest. Hmm. Or we can do like this. In the black or the white. I like that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now this is the same thing. I think I'm going to throw her in maybe... Mm. Ooh, that's cute. This is actually a dress that comes with City Living and I got like um, some custom... It's on my Tumblr if you want to find it. Uh, under the clothes category, but this is basically the dress like turned into just a crop top, which I really really like I'm gonna give her that yellow one and We'll do mm, I feel like she's just gonna wear some jeans, but also I feel like that looks good She looks good with jeans, though. Okay, I think I'm just going to do these jeans here. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and give her... Not little booties. I don't really like that. Maybe shoes like that or like little wedges like this for party. And then her swimwear... Oh, does she? Yeah, she does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we did her makeup. Uh, for swimwear, I definitely feel like she'd wear a bikini. Maybe one like this with that same blue color because it looks good on her. <laughs> uh, where is... Okay, here we go. All right. So there is her look. I like it. She really needs the bathroom, so we're going to have her go to the bathroom. Okay. That, at least that only took me, I think it took me a little less than 10 minutes. I've been recording for about 10 minutes, but we didn't go into creatism right away. So at least it didn't take longer than that because that'd be bad. <laughs> I feel like I always take a million years, but you know. Okay, she needs the bathroom. She's in her party wear right now. She looks so cute. I love her. I absolutely love her. Oh my God. Oh yeah, and I know like she is an alien and I always just have her in her disguise, but I feel like that would be Allie, honestly. Like, I feel like she wouldn't want everyone to know she's an alien and have all this attention on her. I feel like she would be in her disguise all the time and I feel like she really cares about the way she looks. When I, I get that vibe from her, that she really cares about the way she looks and um, she likes to, you know, she really likes like different fashion and she really enjoys doing her hair and everything like that. So I feel like she would just have her disguise on all the time, honestly. Oh, and then that reminds me. Um, she's not here. Oh, yes, she is here. Molly. Okay, Molly is going through some insecurity issues. And um, I thought of this little story. I feel like she's going through a hard time with her appearance and stuff like that. And girls go through this all the time. And if you're going through this, I, I quickly just want to tell you guys that you guys are all beautiful inside and out. You guys like look amazing. You guys are amazing. And yeah, but Allie's going through, Allie, no, <laughs> Molly is going through that time where she feels really insecure about her appearance. And she just, she's not feeling herself right now. And she doesn't really understand why she's feeling this way because she used to be completely fine with herself. And it's kind of just like a sudden insecurity she's having. And she doesn't know if it's because she's getting a little bit older and still doesn't have a boyfriend yet, which she shouldn't be relying on a guy for happiness or anything like that. But she doesn't really understand that right now. So she's just going through like a confusing time. And then um, I feel like her and Allie would be would become close, but she would also be jealous of Allie. I feel like that would happen. I seriously feel like that. Like, I don't know why. Like, I feel like, I just feel like that would be a thing. And, <laughs> um, you know, Molly would struggle with that. So, um, like they're, they're going to be friends. Well, they're family, but like, they're going to be friends, but she also like feels some jealousy and also doesn't really understand why. But, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> what are you doing, Allie? <laughs> I'm obsessed with her. Like, let me just say. So yeah, we're gonna get into a little story about Molly probably in the next part. And yeah, uh, I mean, she, okay. First of all, she has no reason to be insecure. She is the cutest and she's the sweetest. I feel like she's so sweet and she never does anything wrong and she has a good relationship with her parents, but she's just going through a hard time with herself. Like her life is great. She's happy with her family and everything like that. Girl, you are so small. I think this is the smallest sim we've ever had in this Let's Play, to be honest. But I, I love how all this, every single sim we have, oh, you don't even know her. Every single sim we have in this Let's Play have a totally, aw, see, they will, they'll, they're going to be friends. Um, what was I saying? Every, every sim we have has a different body type and looks totally different. Like all their faces look so different. I love that absolutely love it. It just makes it like seem so much more realistic. Oh, her dad. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna thank him for coming. She's truly grateful that he came. You're gonna do a heartfelt compliment. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> I can't believe she grew up like that. She doesn't look like she was born in game, to be honest. Does she, she literally looks like someone I created and created a sim. Like, she is stunning. <laughs> okay. So, oh, Molly is feeling flirty. Um, discuss world peace. Let's enthuse about meal. Let's thank for coming. So, yeah, we're going to get close with her. Um, I feel like we're getting to the stage where I'm going to focus a lot on the teenagers. Because soon, we're going to be going to season four, and we kind of have to figure out... Well... We don't really have to figure that out. I was going to say we have to figure out who I'm going to continue with, but we really don't have to con continue with just one family now like I used to because I was switched back and forth. So I guess we don't have to worry about that, which is nice. All right, what are you doing? You need the bathroom. Aw, uh, she looks sad. I mean, Lucas is here. It's kind of awkward. We're having like this family time. I actually love it. Okay, you know, Harmony, talk with your dad. Like, that, that would be nice. What's their relationship like? Um, they're actually still friends, which is nice. She's probably really happy to see her dad. You know, I seriously feel like he has this guilty look on his face. Do you not get that? I get that vibe. I don't know. <laughs> I have that, like, vibe. Like, I get this feeling from him now. Um, oh my god, we're gonna beck him for new toys. <laughs> um, let's brighten day. What's wrong? Oh my god, because you lost? Are you joking? Talk to your brother. Reveal a deep secret. Their relationship's really good. I like that. Oh man, Demi is mad. <laughs> Wait, let's have a little, like, bond. Come on, wait. Uh, discuss interests. I love how everyone's talking, it's so cute. Where's Allie? Oh, okay. Aww. You know, Dustin, you literally look like a teenager. The way you dress. Seriously, doesn't he? He looks just as young as them, it's so weird. And meanwhile, he's her dad. But he has that young style to him, that's, that's how he wants to look. So, we're gonna keep him like that. He likes to look young and be a great father at the same time. Oh, what's wrong with you? Oh, you're uncomfortable. True. <laughs> look at her, that's how Captain. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, can I obsess over her anymore? Look at that face. Cutest thing that ever existed. Okay. Um. You know, I don't know where she gets her looks from, to be honest. You know, the more I think about that, I don't know what alien he woohooed with, but whoever it was made some good, made like a really good looking daughter. Like, I guess like, looks like her a bit, like the nose and maybe the lips, but like not the eyes at all. And she has brown eyes. So yeah, that's interesting. Oh, the party's over. Okay. All right. Um, they're all going to leave, which is nice even though that was really that was a nice like family gathering but i am glad they're going because that was crowded Ooh, wait no stay you could say you should stay <laughs> let's kiss hands 
You, you, you should like really stay. You shouldn't leave. Aw, she's just going to sleep on her own. Aw. Okay, we're gonna have to switch up Allie's room. I might do that off camera. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that off camera. And I think, um, I'm gonna clean that up. I think I'm gonna leave the bed and the dresser actually because it kind of like looks teenagery and this right here, but I'm gonna get rid of this and like add some other stuff in. But we don't have that much money. So, you know. Oh, she's she's gonna catch him. Oh, she's running to him. <gasps> oh, you guys are the cutest. Aw. Yeah, they're gonna be romantic right now because everyone left and she's like running after him. She's like, no way, I want... I, I need you to stay. <laughs> um, what? Oh. <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's sad. Wait. Could you have our first kiss? Please don't. Please don't. Oh my god, what if he pushes us in the face? Like... You know what they do when they say no to a kiss? I'm scared. I'm really nervous. This is scary stuff. Oh. Oh no. Oh, yay! He didn't deny it. Or reject it, I should say. Aww. Oh my god, I'm so happy he didn't. That makes me happy. Okay. Um, let's compliment his appearance. Mm, wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to sleep. Why? Are you coming? Ooh, stay the night. Let's woohoo. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Wait. We're not finished. Invite to stay the night. <laughs> what is he doing? She's just like cleaning. Aw, no! No! Stay, please. Invite to stay the night. Okay, hopefully he'll stay and we're gonna go ahead and take a shower. It's like two in the morning. She's like cleaning for her mom, like trying to help out. A sleepover sounds great. Yay, I'm glad you think so. Thanks. We, we needed you to stay here. This is, this is a good thing. Ask a risky question. Um, let's go ahead and compliment his appearance. We'll take it slow because he is a little, I think he's a little iffy. Um, let's flirt. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Um, compliment his appearance again. And then flirt again. Just, you know, take it easy, pick up line. Um. Let's confess attraction. Okay, we're doing good. Yay. Ooh, we're very flirty. Let's blow a kiss. Oh, we should go woohoo. Wait, guys. What is the settings for... Let me see. Um, the MC command mod. Let's see. Um, pregnancy, risky woohoo. 50%. So, I have risky woohoo on. Which I think it is by default. So, I don't know if he will, but we're gonna do risky woohoo. Well, it's just woohoo, but it'll be risky, which that could be interesting. She's going to be an elder in 14 days, so I would kind of hope that she doesn't get pregnant. Um, there is another option that for birth control that we could do. I really like that. I think it's really, like, realistic. Um, pregnancy. I don't know where I find that. I saw it, and I don't know. Um, I don't know where I saw it. Oh, no, wait. Reactions. Hmm. I don't know where I saw that. Other settings. Ooh. Okay, here it is. So what do I do then? Determines how many hours the birth control buff will last. So, wait. How do I... This is interesting. All moods birth control. If the setting is enabled, the birth control interactions will always be available on active sims, active sims rather than only when flirty. 
Oh, wait. <gasps> oh my god! That is so cool. What? Okay. Um, I'm gonna let them woohoo. Let's hope she doesn't get pregnant. <laughs> but after that, we're definitely going to do this birth control thing every time she's flirty. That is so cool. Wow. I love that. There was, um, I think there was birth control in The Sims 2, right? And your Sims could also have a period. <laughs> that was like, that was the coolest thing ever to me when I was like 13 years old. <laughs> Not even joking. All right, I'm kind of nervous. Oh my god. What if she is pregnant? <laughs> I mean, it would be my fault. And she's gonna be an elder in 14 days. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad, actually, because like... How, are, how long are you a kid for? I don't even know, but... You're not a kid for too long, and then you're a baby for such a short amount of time, and we could even age the baby up faster, like... You know, have the baby just be a baby for, like, the day she's born and then the day after that just age her up. Or he, if it's a boy. <laughs> so if this happens, this is going to be quite interesting. We can take pregnancy test. When you have this mod, you can take it. Also, guys, if you guys are wondering where it's from or anything like that, it's just on Mod The Sims, um, I believe. Yeah, but um, there's also tutorials on how to install it and everything. No, we're not going to go. Wait, we're gonna do it again? No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now there's more of a chance. Wait, are they stopping halfway between? Okay. In between, I should say. Oh, my God. This is scary. Yee! I'm scared. This is, like, intense. Ah. Wait. <gasps> oh, God. Yep. Okay. We are pregnant, guys. Didn't expect that. Oh my god. She's pregnant with his baby. What? Oh, this is a whole other thing now. Oh my god, poor Destiny. <laughs> but she's probably... This will actually probably end up being a good thing. He can move in. Will he bring money in? I wonder. Oh my god, I just want this to be a never-ending part. I'm like so... <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. Why are you sad? Feeling sad. Oh, the gloomy tree. I'm sorry. Why does she have to have the gloomy tree? <laughs> it's so sad. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this now. Like, I really like this for the family to play, but, like, I don't want it in Allie's room. And, sadly, it can't fit in this room. Will it fit anywhere downstairs? Yeah, not really. Ooh, we can put it outside, though, and then we can still have it, which will be nice. Because they really, like, bond with that, I feel. Okay, and then we can get rid of that. Okay. Um, she's still gonna sleep for a while. She is gonna eat breakfast. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here, guys. Oh my goodness. Comment down below what you guys think about Destiny being pregnant again. Um, and this time it's with James. And it was the first time they woohooed and now she's pregnant. What? I feel like this risky woohoo thing adds a lot. And the fact, like, I could have put her on birth control. And then she wouldn't have gotten pregnant, which is so cool. Um, yeah, I'm really excited now. I feel like there's so much future for Destiny now. Like, good things. Um, and I feel like it'll be a lot easier for her to see Lucas and, ha and allow him to see the kids if she's with another man that's making her very happy and, have another, and having another baby with him. So, this could be a good thing. And he could bring in money. I don't really know if he will, but if he does, that would be awesome because we're struggling here. We need some help. <laughs> but even if he doesn't bring in money, he's going to have a job too, so that'll be good. So, yeah, I'm excited. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.